All right, what's good, YouTube fam? I'm coming at y'all with a nail design tutorial. This is going to be the design. This is the design that I was rocking when I did the um, acrylic nail art. I mean, the acrylic nail tutorial. So I'm just going to do go ahead and do a design. Um, I've already got a base coat put on. I'm using this, which is kind of like a pinkish color. I don't know. I always just kind of like to use a pinkish color as a base coat. That's just me. So I've already got that popped on and it's already dry. These are the four colors that I'm going to be rocking, working with. Um, they're all from Sinful Colors. I absolutely love Sinful Color uh, polishes. So these are the four colors. This is pretty much the base color, which this is called uh, Boogie Nights. I know it's showing up very orange on camera, but it's actually a nice coral color. So... That's the color. And then these other two colors. This one is called Cream Pink. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, y'all. I'm still kind of getting over this coat. And this is another color. It's called 24-7. And then this really light, almost white pink, which is called Easy Going. I know it's kind of showing gray, but it's a really light, like, really light pink. So anyway, first I'm going to do some um, just color blocking. I'm going to do some shapes with um, each color and just uh, go from there. I'm going to use my darkest color first, which is um, uh, cream pink. I'm just going to kind of make whatever shape that I feel the need, that I just want to make. I'm just going to just paint a little shape on the side of my nail. Just like that. I know it doesn't look like much, but once you start adding all the designs and things like that, it'll be just right. Next, I'm going to pick up... Um, Boogie Nights. I'm going to do a shape with that as well. And I guess I'll go on the other side. Kinda. I'm sorry if y'all can't see y'all. I'm trying my hardest to try to get to the point where y'all can see. Okay. So you have something that looks like that. And I'm done with this. Alrighty. Next color I'm going to pick up is going to be 24-7. Um, And I'm just going to just do like a half circle right there at the cuticle. Let me see if I can do it so you guys can see. Just a little bit right there at the cuticle. And don't worry if you get nail polish like on your skin. You can always take a Q-tip and a little bit of nail polish from over and clean that up. Just like that. Just a small circle because I still want a little bit of white to be showing, as you can see, a little bit of clear. And then the next color is going to be the really light color, which is um, easy going. I'm just going to add the smallest amount of it. I think I'm just going to kind of draw a line right here. Oh, you can't even see. Sorry, my bad, y'all. I'm just kind of drawing a line right there next to the, um, like, right kind of on top on the outer edge of this bright pink. I, do, I know it doesn't look like much, y'all, but once I'm telling you, we'll just start adding the design and the dotting. 
in your stripes. Everything will kind of pull in together. Alrighty, so I'm done with that color. And you have something that kind of doesn't look like much. Kind of looks like a crazy nail. Like, okay, what's the purpose of that? But um, that's just your background. You want that in your background. If you can see these nails, you see all those stripes and stuff. If you look close to the background, you have different um, colors back there, which that's what we're doing now. So anyway, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll be back with the striping and the dotting. Alrighty, guys, I'm back, and the nail is dry, which still looks something like that. And these are the, the colors that I'm going to be using to be doing the nail design. I've got three Kiss colors. These, are, these three are Kiss stripers, which I've got a white, a yellow, and a black. And then these two are simple color stripes, which I've got a really bright orange and a nice, vibrant, like, magenta type of color. So these are the colors I'm going to be using. Um, I also, for tools, I have this striper, which it looks like this. Um, it comes in a pack of three. You can find them at Sally's. And at Sally's, I'm going to tell you all now, at Sally's, they're $18.99. I got this same pack, same pack of three off of eBay for 99 cents. Free shipping and handling. I don't fool with Sally's when it comes to my tools. Also, I'm going to be using this dotting tool, which is double-ended. I've got a small dotting tool on this side and a large one on this side. I'm going to be working with the smaller side. And they sell these, I believe, as well as Sally's for $18.99. I got the, and it's a pack of four. I got this off of eBay for 99 cents. Yeah, once again, I don't fool with Sally's when it comes to my, like, um, nail art design tools and things like that. So, anyway, um, the black, we're not going to use the black for any striping. The black is just simply for dotting. I'm just, so I'm going to set that to the side because I don't need it now. And I'm going to do my stripes in order with the, the darkest color first, white, and then the orange, and then I'm going to use the yellow last. So, although this is a striper and it does have a striping, um, the cap has a striping tool in it, which looks like this, um, I'm not going to use it. I don't like to use it because that brush that I showed you, I have taken some scissors and I just trimmed a little bit of the thickness out of the hair. So, I get a really good, nice, thin stripe. So, I'm just going to kind of set the lid off to the side. And I'm going to be using this. So, yeah, see some of the hairs I cut at the very base, just cut them to thin so the, you know, so the, the wand or the brush isn't so thick or so dense. But anyway, I'm just going to take my brush, dip it in there. Get all the hairs going. Let me grab a paper towel. Put that down. then I like to for my brush to look some something similar to that. And I'm just going to go to work. I'm just going to just draw stripes here and there, you know, wherever I see fit. I'm just going to take it and just kind of draw some stripes. Um, sparingly, I'm not going to go crazy because I'm still going to be adding some more um, artwork because this is just the first of it. So if I go overboard with this purple, then I, don't, I won't have space for um, too much else. So that's it. I just add three stripes, just like that, random stripes. And I'm just going to take my brush. I'm not going to worry about dipping it in acetone or anything like that. And I'm just literally going to fold my paper towel and wipe off the brush, just like that. I'm done with that. Next, I'm going to grab my white. Same thing. I'm not going to be using the brush because I don't like the brushes. And I'm going to dip my brush in here. Dip it in the white. And get it so it looks like that. I'm just going to add some stripes here and there. Just like that. There's stripes here and there. And I am done with the white. Take it. Wipe off my brush. Next color is going to be orange. 
Just gonna clean off the brush. Put the brush to the side since I won't be using it. And then take my brush in. I'm trying to, I'm dipping it in and out because the this uh, consistency, consistency of this um, nail polish is kind of thin. Or this nail striper and I if it's thin the vibrancy of the orange is not going to show so I'm just trying to get a build up on the brush not to where it's dripping off but like the more you dip it like the more it's exposed to oxygen or to the air it's going to kind of like dry a little bit so it'll kind of become gooky and a little thick so um it'll show so something like that and I'm just going to um Do some stripes here and there. Turn my nail around. I'm just uh, popping some of this orange here and there, wherever I see a nice space to where um, just the empty space, pretty much. So something like that and see how you can see the orange is popping now. Alrighty, wipe off my brush, move that to the side. And the last color that we're going to be striping with is going to be this very vibrant yellow. Clean off my brush, move that to the side. And same thing applies. It's kind of, because it's yellow, it kind of winds up being almost see-through. And I really want the yellow to pop. So I'm just going to dip it, kind of let it, you know, get a little gooky so it'll show. And get on my brush like that. And I'm just making, you know, just little sh swirly stripes here and there. Just wherever I see um, room to do it. Even if I go over something, it's okay because the yellow is the brightest color. So, there you go. Looks like that. Next, I'm just going to wipe off my brush. And I'll be cleaning it um, here in a minute because I'm done with the stripes. So I've already got a little container of acetone um, to clean my brush off. Next, I'm going to grab just an empty envelope. This is what I just um, used to like pour polish on when I'm doing dotting. And I'm going to use this black by Kiss. And I'm not going to use the brush, obviously. I'm just going to use the brush to grab me a nice little dot like that. Just drop a nice dot. And I'm going to pick up my dotting tool and wherever I see room or wherever just seems like a good place to do a row of dots I'm going to go ahead and do that so I just kind of swirl my small end of my dotting tool in there um, get a nice little build up of the black and then I'm going to um, go ahead and start adding some dots take a look at my nail and yeah, right here. Right in here seems like a good place. So I added a row of dots going that way. I'm going to add another row right in here. that and then maybe something at the very bottom one up the side And then I let this nail sit and I'm going to let it dry for a while cuz 
I don't want to put any top coat on it and I smear my design. I'm going to be upset. So I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll paint over it and I'll come back and show you guys the ending result of the nail design. Alrighty, y'all. My nail design has dried, and I have went on. I went ahead and applied a clear top coat over my nails, and this is the finished look of the nail design. This is the finished look. I told y'all I like long nails because I like my designs. I just love designs. I change them pretty much every week and I absolutely love the rock nail designs. So and each nail is different. I use all the same colors on every nail and but they're just different. There's not one that's alike. So they all look different. I want to show y'all my sounds. Oh, goodness. So that's it. I hope you guys like. I hope you guys enjoy. This is my um, left hand. This is the nail that I did on camera for the tutorial. The thumbnail. This is my right hand. them so i hope y'all guys enjoy um let me know what y'all think in the comments below um as always thanks for watching guys um don't forget to rate comment and subscribe bye guys